hello guys so uh did i even say hi hi guys hi guys hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today i wanted to take you through okay i was coming to take off my meal plan this meal plan served us for the month of october in november <laughs> And through December, and now I decided because we're getting into a new year, it's time to make a new meal plan. And I wanted us to do it together. So, yeah, that is what we're going to do in this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining us today. If you are, what did I say? If you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I love you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing if this is your kind of content. I hope to see you through this year. Happy New Year! Okay, not yet, but Happy New Year anyways. <laughs> and yeah, so we're going to make a meal plan today. And I'll take you through step by step. So this was uh, our December meal plan or meal options. To be honest, we didn't follow it. <laughs> I don't know why, but we didn't. So I'm thinking this could make a very good reference for a January meal plan. Uh, so yeah, I will be referring to this one as I make January's meal plan. Okay, although I'll just I'll adjust accordingly. Then I'll explain to you how I'm doing it. So on the first column i will be doing is it column or row i don't know uh, <laughs> uh so breakfast and then instead of lunch i will do thai's evening snack that's what i do and then dinner this is because most of our lunches we eat leftover dinner or i'm alone in the house so yeah so thai is in school and everything and yeah so also for breakfast we consider chai because he's the one who you know mainly has breakfast before he leaves for school and yeah so i'm going to follow this because we didn't get to use it so i think it's time we do it and i'll do a few adjustments here and there yeah so basically that's it so on monday so what i decided to be doing is doing a meal prep on sundays I hope I'll manage to do that and I'll take you guys with me along, you know, and I'll be consistent. I hope if I'm consistent enough, then I'll manage to make kebabs on Saturdays and freeze them for the next week. So on Monday, uh, let me use a black pen. I'm going to print these. I want it to be as official as can be. So we'll be having kebabs, maybe wine and warm chocolate so what i realized is my son doesn't eat fruits very well in the morning so we're going to put the grapes here instead so we're going to put grapes in the evening and then we're going to know what else you eat and then on mondays because over the weekend we have a lot of snack a lot of junk and so we we'll eat ugali pork and spinach for vegetables and here Tai has a cup of milk, so that is obviously. And then Tuesday, he is going to have a sandwich. So it's usually bread. And a cup of milk or a glass depends then we're going to have in the evening we have a fruit which is an apple i'm not sure what we're going to have i had written mandazi but if i'm going to make kebabs over the weekend i don't think i'll be able to make mandazis on that day we'll see we'll see we'll see and then on tuesdays i want to be having taco tuesdays i am determined to do to do this whole mixture of mexican italian chinese cuisine <laughs> i 
I hope it actually works out. So I'll have tacos and here then I'll have to buy minced meat for the fillings and coleslaw. So the good thing about a meal plan is that it helps you know what to buy in your grocery shopping so that once you know you're having tacos, that means you'll have to buy minced meat, you have to buy cabbage, you have to buy carrot, you have to buy cream you get. You know what exactly you need for that month and you don't just buy things because well they're there to be bought and on wednesdays we'll be having pancakes pancakes so one, once you see pancakes then there is syrup and maybe some toppings such as strawberries or bananas it depends and some warm chocolate warm milo so yeah then for fruit in the evening he will have a banana mm -hmm. then we in the evening we will have chinese fried rice uh, so hmm, i don't know how this is gonna work this will be we'll see we'll see um then we have uh, Thursday. Thursday we had we can have two uh, sausage. So let's say two slices of bread. Of bread. Sausage and a glass, a cup of cup of hot chocolate. Yes, then for fruit in the evening, here here because mangoes are in season, I think we can do mango or mango juice, depending, I can blend it. Mm -hmm. Then in the evening, hmm, here is where we're going to have Italian. Yes. This is Kenyan, Kenyan, Mexican, Chinese, so Italian. So here we're going to have uh, a pasta casserole. with meatballs mm, yeah so after that this is friday favorite day of the week he can have french toast in the morning or scrambled eggs depending on how he feels and then he will have a cup of milk And then for fruits, he can have an orange in the evening. And yeah. So for dinner, we're going to be having fried chicken. Fried chicken. Fried chicken. So what you didn't see is uh, Friday we're having KFC fried chicken. Then Saturday is a lazy but really nice morning. I like waking up on Saturday morning. So boiled eggs, kachumbari, a cup of tea. And for fruit in the evening, I'm not sure what we'll have, but whichever fruit will be in the house. We can also do grapes again. Or banana. Yeah. Or an apple. Yeah, we can do apples. And then, in the evening, we do chapatis and beef too. So that it can be left over for Sunday in case we don't go out. Or in case we go out there will be food in the fridge for dinner because no one feels like cooking on Sundays. Yeah, but now Saturday all day, I'll be doing meal prep for the next week. And that is where I'll also cook cake. And we can have cake Sunday morning or tea scones, depending on what I bake that weekend. And he'll have it with warm chocolate. And then for for afternoon Sundays we can do bajiyas, <laughs> bajiyas, and maybe samosas or chicken fingers. Mm. Yeah, and then here. 
let's say special dinner because I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'll be doing. But yeah. In case I don't wanna cook we we'll just eat leftover from the previous day. But if I have the mood to do I can always do something special, you know. So yeah. And on to snacks now in between. Ties snacks. So on Monday if he's having grapes he can have left of, uh, no, that's a lot of meat for one day. We can always do maybe mandazi. He can do mandazi and flavored milk. And then for Tuesday, he can always do hmm, a bowl of Wheatles, a cereal. And then for Wednesday, Wednesday he doesn't have any protein. So here he can have maybe a burger. And maybe some fresh juice. Here... Here he can have uh, maybe leftover samosas, no. Let me, let me just say here, I know we, he needs to have a hot dog. A hot dog or the winners. Mm. And you can do it with orange juice or something. Or flavored milk again he had milk in the morning oh my god this is hard but you can do fresh juice pineapple juice ah no here is where we're going to have pineapple i was wondering what fruit i didn't put so we can do pineapple ha ah, you can do pineapple on saturday hiya ah, yeah. okay so so you can have pineapple and what this certain Saturday is when we do meal prep, so he can eat whatever he wants on that day. Probably he'll have a kebab here. Yeah. Kebab or mandazi or whatever else suits him on Saturday. Saturday is sort of a free day. So on Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. We'll see. Yeah. Strawberry. Hmm? Strawberry. Strawberry fruit. Yes. Yeah, so that's how my meal plan looks like. I'm still debating on what he will have on Thursdays. Uh huh. <laughs> Tell me whether you make meal plans for your your family.